Lucas. No Lucas. So. No Lucas. No. Get two ready. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, Charlie, you're ready. There. Am I in the way? Uh, nope. You want to compress it? Okay, so what do we got? Witness the rest by us. Can you hear on now? Resuscitation and Code Team Communication An instructional video for code and resuscitation teams High-Risk Domains Communication Communication systems adapted from other high-risk domains such as commercial aviation or the military can improve the safety, effectiveness and efficiency of resuscitation. Precise, concise, and efficient communication should be the goal. High-risk domains communication example. Listen to this actual exchange between air traffic control and Chelsea Sullenberger, pilot, after his commercial airliner hit birds during takeoff and lost power to all engines. 15.9, turn left heading 270. Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539, hit birds through lost thrust on both engines, returning back towards LaGuardia. Okay, uh, you need to return to LaGuardia. Turn left heading of uh, 220. 220. 1529, we can get it for you. Do you want to try to land 1913? We're unable. We may end up in the Hudson. I can't get 1549. It's going to be left traffic to runway 31. Unable. Okay, what do you need to land? Here is a list of commonly used and representative air traffic control terms. The pit crew mindset. A well-trained, experienced, and organized team will carry out their duties like a race car pit crew with minimal prompting or communication required. If team structure and priorities are well established and practiced, then team members understand their roles, expectations, and timing of delivery. As teams become more practiced and reflex, meta-communication or body language communication occurs more frequently between team members. Conservation of words in conversation, use of phrases with specific meaning to the team, and quiet efficiency will more commonly be observed. Communicating leadership. How does one communicate their intent to lead? Be present in the resuscitation room prior to the patient's arrival. Be the person who assembles the team while waiting for the patient's arrival. Lead the team in reviewing known history and planning care. Position yourself in the room at a location designated for team leaders. If one exists, utilize your local system for team leader identification, colored gowns, hats, name tags, armbands, etc. Be the individual who directly receives the paramedic history. A leadership admonition may be necessary and appropriate such as, take orders only from me. Act the part, and your speech decibels, rhythm, behavior, and tone of voice should reinforce your role. Identify the nurse team leader and collaborate in resuscitation planning. Enlist the nurse team leader in helping with delegation of orders, crowd control, and resource management. Leadership communication. What does good leadership communication look like? Leadership scripts. Develop personal leadership scripts, which are used with every team activation. Standardized phrases. Use short, efficient, meaningful phrases commonly understood by code team members. Leadership standardized phrases. Before rhythm analysis. Rhythm check, pulse check, and change of compressors in 15. Changing compressors. On my count team ready. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pausing compressions. Pause compressions. Resuming compressions. Resume compressions. Before intubation without pause. Prepare for intubation. Continue compressions during attempt. Before intubation with pause. Prepare to intubate with maximum 10-second pause in compressions. Tell me when you see the vocal cords. Charging defibrillator. VF, continue compressions while charging. Shocking patient. Clear, shock. Lead the team without appearing condescending. 
set clear goals and expectations during team activations. Maintain ongoing communication that keeps the team continually informed. Use names and make eye contact when asking someone to perform a task. Speed is especially important for the team leader because he or she is the sinus node or pacemaker of the team. Speak clearly and loudly enough. Frequently encourage suggestions or questions. Keep the team informed of each phase. We are in the primary survey. Have all pertinent examination findings announced to the team. Airway is fine, breathing, symmetrical breath sounds, etc. Ask the team for patient data. What are the current vital signs? Use the call out, which is a request for information input by the team leader. Perform a handoff or temporarily turn over leadership whenever the team leader performs a procedure in order to prevent a break in leadership communication. Safe team communication. What are the elements of safe team communication? Closed loop communication. A communication model originating from military radio transmissions that ensures proper team understanding of a message. The receiver of a message accepts the message and provides verbal confirmation of receipt while seeking clarification if needed. The originator of the message verifies the message has been received and correctly interpreted. The loop is thereby closed and the person giving the order hears and can confirm that the message was correctly received. Team communication techniques that promote error avoidance such as the cross-check, check-back and the two-challenge rule are used. With the cross-check the receiver of a verbal order repeats the order and obtains verification before a drug is administered. The check-back is the receiver confirming to the team leader that the verbal order was carried out. Closed loop communication example. Doctor, administer 25 mg of Benadryl intravenous push stat. Dot. Nurse, give 25 mg of Benadryl intravenous push stat? Doctor, that's correct. Nurse, Benadryl, 25 mg intravenous push given at 1045. The two-challenge rule, another technique borrowed from aviation, is also used by the team when necessary. With the two-challenge rule team members are responsible for questioning all actions that might place the patient at risk. A challenge is voiced at least twice to assure it has been heard. The receiver must acknowledge the challenge and provide an explanation for the action in question. The two-challenge rule is a tool that empowers all team members to stop the line if they sense or discover a potential safety breach that could result in patient harm. We hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for all you do.